So let's say x equals 0 0.1 to, I don't know, 4, repeating. So here, because there are three digits, we want to multiply by 1,000x. And what that'll give us is 124.124 repeating. You know, multiplying by 10 moves our decimal once to the right, by 100 twice, and by 1,000 three times to the right. So if we have three repeating decimals, we want to move, with three repeating digits, we want to move our decimal three times to the right. And why is that? Well, again, why do we want to actually multiply by the num by, uh, why do we want to multiply so that our decimal moves past the repeating sequence? Well, when we set up these equations, here we'll set up a thousand x minus x, and that equals 124.124 repeating, minus 0.124 repeating. Look how nice this is. Because we multiplied by a thousand and moved our decimal three times to the right, we're able to cancel out the repeating sequence here, right? We subtract 0.124 repeating, and that lines up perfectly with what's left over in the first decimal. So we have 124. Right, and that will always work. And here on the right, we have 999x. To solve for x, we divide by 999. Cancel out here. And then we have our fraction equivalent, where x equals 124 over 999. And all we did was show that that is the correct fraction for this decimal, that they're equivalent.